Hello class! My name is Dr. Kyle Stone and I'm going to be your professor for Kinesiology 393. Um, I am extremely excited to be here. It is a true pleasure to be teaching you and I hope you all are doing well. Alright, so this is a small introduction to our course. Um, this is going to be your syllabus overview as well as kind of an introduction of myself. All right, so just so you have a little bit of a better idea of who I am, who is teaching you this semester, and what exactly my expertise are, um, I'll give you a little bit of a background on myself. Again, like I said, my name is Dr. Kyle Stone, and I am a doctor of physical therapy. Um, I went to California Baptist and graduated in uh, 2013. From there, I went to Western University of Health Sciences in Pomona, California, and I received my doctorate of physical therapy there. From there, I went into my residency for uh, orthopedics, uh, focusing on, obviously, orthopedics, uh, orthopedic physical therapy, that is, and I did, completed that at Rancho Physical Therapy, which is based out in Marietta. Um, currently, I am actually in Texas. I work as a center therapy director for an urgent care out here in Texas, Dallas, Texas, to be more specific. So if you occasionally hear me say y'all or anything like that, I do apologize. My wife makes fun of me all the time and says I have no excuse to be saying y'all because I'm not from Cal not from Texas, excuse me, but it is so contagious out here and um, I do anything to, you know, get a little grind at my wife there and joke around. Anyways, so that is a little bit of a background on me. Uh, a little bit more personal, huge Denver Broncos fan. I love football. I'm excited for this new season. Not sure about Joe Flacco, but that is for another video. Um, anyways, I have two children. I have two boys. Uh, Caden, he's almost three years old. He'll be three in August. And Dawson, who is two and a half months today. So yes, um, very busy, um, but I love my job, I love my career. I love California Baptist University for so many reasons. Um, I love being a professor for California Baptist University because unlike other universities and other uh, teaching jobs I have, California Baptist allows me to be who I really am and that is a Christian, that is a Christ lover, Christ believer, I am all in. So I love to tie these courses to our beliefs because at the end of the day, man, God is amazing and God created uh, kinesiology. And it, I mean, for me personally, I'm one of those people that I cannot study kinesiology, anatomy, physiology, anything like that, I mean, without thinking about God. And if you can study that and really tell yourself, wow, this is not evidence that there is a God, then I, I don't know what to tell you. But it is amazing the, the way the human body works. And that's why I love this class, uh, exercise physiology, because we're applying the basics of exercise physiology of what you learned in um, Kin 292, 293, something like that. Sorry, we have all these different course numbers. All right, so I'm going to jump into the syllabus and we're going to get started. Um, oh, and I have been teaching at California Baptist since 2016, so a little background there. All right, so this again is Kinesiology 393, Applied Exercise Physiology. All right, so uh, you will see my instructor contact information on the syllabus. Um, I have my personal cell phone number on there. Please, please, please do not abuse that number. All right, um, if you want to get in contact with me, I request that you please contact me through email first, which is on your syllabus. Uh, that is the quickest and easiest way for both of us uh, to kind of get in communication. However, if there is an emergency, you really need to talk to me, that's okay. You can give me a call. Um, if that, I usually say, hey, can you text me first so I can either get away because depending on the times that, you know, things that's going on, I may not be available. Please keep in mind, not that this will affect you or affect your grading or anything, I am in a different time zone over here, all right? In Texas, we are two hours ahead in California. So 10 o'clock, it's my midnight, you know? Um, I'm sitting down to have dinner with my family at 6, it's 4 o'clock for you guys. So just keep that in mind. If you really want to get a hold of me, you really want to chat, please text me um, and we can set something up. 
Um, all right, so you have your required text and sources. If you have any questions, just let me know. It's the sixth edition, Physiology of Sport and Exercise. Um, I have your assignment over you there. Uh, you'll mainly be doing reflections, quizzes, and exams, critical assignment prep, and your critical assignment, which you should be having with most of your other courses as well. You have your point distribution, your point breakdown. Um, you have an introduction, a uh, course pretest, which is 10 points. Assignments are all, I think you have seven assignments worth 30 points, three reflections worth 50 points, seven quizzes worth 40 points. You're going to have a final exam, a critical assignment prep, which is two of them, um, and they're both worth 50 points. And then you have your critical assignment, which is the big guy, 150 points. All right, keep it going. So your course schedule is completely um, laid out uh, for each week, the assignments, the reading, everything that is due that week. So if anything, if I make any mistakes, because I am human, if I make any mistakes in any of my weekly overview videos in terms of dates or anything like that, I will always, always, always go back to the syllabus. All right? So if I tell you that your quiz is due on day six, all right, which is Saturday of week three, but on the syllabus it says day seven of week three, which is Sunday, not Saturday, I will always give in to whatever it says on the syllabus. So the syllabus is the final say. So keep that syllabus. Check those due dates. Um, I will always give in to those. All right. All right. Late assignments, what every student always wants to know about, late assignments. All right, so when it comes to late assignments, I'm pretty clear with it. All right, one minute late is late. It's pretty simple, okay? Um, I do allow late assignments. I allow you to turn in an assignment except for the critical assignment. Critical assignment, if you turn in that late, it is zero points. Um, one minute late is one minute late for that critical assignment. So... Please, please, please do not not pass the course because you don't turn in your critical assignment. All right? Um, so you are allowed to turn in assignments up to five days late. Every day that it is late, it is 10% off of the final grade. Um, so please keep that in mind. Um, so if it's one day late, it's 10% off, no matter what grade you get. If you get an A, that's cool. That's awesome. I'm proud of you. Um, but because it's late, I will be deducting 10% off of the overall points. Um, so if it's 30 points, you're automatically uh, going to lose three points, I believe. Um, so on. So first day, 10%. 20% next day, 30% next day, so on and until five days. After five days, it's below 50%. You automatically get a zero. So if it's after five days, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, critical assignment. You need to pass your critical assignment with a 70% or better in order to pass the course. It does not matter if you have an A going into the critical assignment. Even if you have an A and get a 69% on the critical assignment, which... I've never heard of that happening, so let's not have that happen. But even if it was, if it was not that 70%, you will not pass the course. So that means if you turn it in late and you get a zero, you will automatically fail the course. So let's not do that, guys. All right? Um, okay, so if you have any other questions, you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Once again, I'm extremely excited to be here. It is going to be a true pleasure and blessing to be your professor. Um, I'm here to make you better, and I'm here to hopefully help you be in a position to where you can glorify God with the material you learn this semester with me. All right? Okay. I'm excited. If you have any questions, you have my email. All right. I'll talk to you all soon.